Lady Elizabeth Hartley Compton rarely visited the hairdressers. Normally, she had Marlene Barnett come to the manor house to tend to her hair, which grew uncommonly fast and was inclined to rage out of control whenever she rode her motorcycle into the village. That morning, however, she'd been seized with an uncontrollable urge to have her hair trimmed immediately. When she'd called Marlene to make an appointment, the young woman had been most apologetic. Two of the hairdressers were home with a cold, and she was just too busy to come to the manor house. Perhaps next week? At first Elizabeth had considered asking a housekeeper to give her a trim. Violet made no secret of the fact that she cut her own hair, and at times had wielded a pair of scissors above the head of Martin, Elizabeth's ageing butler even though Martin had less than a dozen wisps to worry about. Envisioning the way Violet's frizzy grey mop sprouted from her head, like a much-used scouring pad, Elizabeth had reluctantly accepted Marlene's polite suggestion that she come down to the shop, where she'd do her best to fit her in. Seated in front of a badly speckled mirror, almost suffocated, by a cloud of cigarette smoke, Elizabeth wondered why she'd been in such a hurry to get her hair cut. It was most inconvenient for the hairdressers to catch cold this early in September. A peculiar chemical smell that pervaded the shop was revolting, and she wasn't too thrilled about being drawn into the gossip, being avidly exchanged between the rest of the customers. Especially since the most strident of the voices belonged to her arch-enemy, Rita Crumb. Rita had always made her voice heard in the tiny village of Sitting Marsh. Since the advent of the Second World War, however, Rita had come into her own. She had made the war effort, her own personal crusade, and had rounded up enough gullible followers among the housewives in the village to form a sizable group most of whom followed her orders with ill-advised enthusiasm. Elizabeth was well aware that Rita was more intent on basking in the glory of her supervision than of actually achieving any worthwhile war effort. Not only that, she was using her self-appointed position of authority to usurp the lady of the manor, whom she considered unworthy of the title. It was no secret in Sitting Marsh that Elizabeth's mother had been a kitchen maid until she caught the eye of the Earl of Wellsborough and married him. Adding fuel to the flames was that Sitting Marsh's new landlady belonged to that much maligned species, the divorcee. Elizabeth winced as Rita's harsh tones effectively cut off the voice of the timid woman sitting next to her. Did you hear about the big fight down at the Tudor Arms last night?